Hi, my name is Angie. I'm from Angie's Pantry. I am inspired by Heather's videos of making just homemade meals. I do a lot of it on my channel too, but I just love how she throws a meal together really quick. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm making some homemade Alfredo sauce. Got the noodles cooking already because that's what takes the longest. So let me bring in a little closer and show you how I'm doing this. Okay, in the pan I just put in a half a stick of butter, real butter, and I got some fresh garlic that I'm going to grate up. Meanwhile, in that pan that's boiling over there is my um, liquid noodles. You don't want to burn this, so make sure you cook it on a real medium-low heat because you don't want to add color to it. There's two. Let's put three in. Oh, it smells wonderful already. All right. Stir it around. Yum. All right. Now I've got one block of softened cream cheese. I use Philadelphia cream cheese. You can use whatever kind you want. I do find that Philadelphia cream cheese seems to work better for me. Get that stirred around. Let that cook down for a minute. I've got a little bit of nutmeg here. I'm gonna uh, grate a little bit in there just for that little background flavor. Not a lot. A little goes a long way. And that's it. See when you uh, soften that cream cheese? In the microwave, it cooks so much nicer. It cooks down, I should say, so much nicer. Okay, that's telling me my oops, noodles are done. Get those out of there. I am going to take a little bit of white pepper. You can use black pepper. I like white. Just a little bit. It's more sweet, I think. A little bit of uh, chives. You don't have to if you want just all play. I like the little chive in there. All right. Now I'm going to slowly add in a little bit of this pasta water. Uh, I'm going to whisk it. Look at how beautiful that come up. But just by adding that add a little water. bit of uh, carnation milk to it. Just a little bit. Give it a taste. Always taste your food. I need to add a little bit of salt. And this is sea salt. A little bit more of that white pepper. I'm going to stir in a little bit more of the canned milk, carnation milk into it. Do you know why it thickened up so pretty like that? It's because you added the pasta water to it. Get a clean spoon. Try it again. Okay, that's good. Shut off your heat. Once that heat shut off, you're gonna grate, this is real parm, parmigiano. And I'm just gonna grate probably about a half a cup to a cup of cheese of that in there. That's about a half a cup. Whisk that in. And it will melt nice. Smells amazing. 
See how you got that line in there? That's what you want. All right, put that back in that pasta water. Let's try it again. Clean spoon. It smells really good. I think it's got the perfect amount. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make the Alfredo sauce. Just like that. All right. Put that the pasta in there. Lightly. Stir it in there. And if you think it needs to loosen up a little more, add a little bit more pasta water in there. It smells amazing. All right, I'm gonna add just a smidge more of that pasta water in there. It's way too thick for me. Used about a total of one cup of pasta water in here. Grate a little bit of the fresh uh, parm over the top. And there you have it. Homemade Alfredo sauce. All right, let's give it a try. It smells amazing. Look at that. Yum. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. So easy to make. Let me know in the comments below if you make your own homemade Alfredo sauce. And if not, if you tried this recipe. I want to thank you for watching, stopping by Heather's channel. And we can all support Heather and her family by watching her videos, playing her playlist, and as always, commenting and liking the videos if you like them. Again, my name is Angie. My channel's name is Angie's Pantry. You're more than welcome to stop by and check out my channel too. Down below in the description, there'll be uh, information that you can get to my link and uh, all the other stuff that Heather puts in her description. All right, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.